Hello 3D printing friends! It's time once again for another Mod Mondays video on the BB3D channel. Today we're going to be installing the factory firmware on our ANET A8 3D printer and we're going to do it from a Mac. Stick around and we'll get to it right after this. I'm Brian and you are watching BB3D. Hi everyone, welcome back. Before we get going I wanted to say thanks to all of you who subscribe to the channel. You are the reason I keep doing these videos, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love it if you would please click the subscribe button down there and also click that little bell to get notified when I release new stuff. Okay, if you're watching this, you may have just finished watching my video about installing a bootloader on the ANET A8 3D printer. It's also possible that you've installed a different firmware and you want to roll back to the factory firmware. But whatever your reason for being here, a word of warning. This is going to get a little nerdy, and we're going to have to open up a terminal window to do what we need to do. But we're in this together and we'll get through this. Okay, so let's go over the things that we need in order to complete the factory firmware installation. We need the Arduino IDE installed, an ANET A8 with a bootloader installed, the ANET factory firmware hex file for the A8, it's linked in the description, a USB cable to connect the printer to the Mac, and last, we need to know the slash dev slash TTY location of the printer. Yeah, I know that's nerdy, but I'll show you how to find that information in the terminal. And now that we know what we need, Let's go over to the computer and get started. If you don't already have the Arduino IDE installed, we will review that procedure now. It's super quick and easy. Open a web browser and go to www.arduino.cc. Once there, point to Software, then click Downloads. That'll take you to the download page. Scroll down just a bit, and in the Download the Arduino IDE section, click the link for Mac OS X. You can choose to contribute a bit to promote Arduino software development, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to click Just Download. Once the software is downloaded, check your Downloads folder. If your web browser automatically unzipped the download, you'll see the Arduino icon. If not, locate and double-click the Arduino zip file to unzip it. Let's move the Arduino software into the Applications folder. In the Finder, click the Go menu, then click Applications. This will open the Applications folder. Then, down in the Dock, click the Downloads folder to view its contents. Drag the Arduino icon from there into the Applications folder. If you're prompted for administrator credentials, provide them. Now you have the Arduino IDE installed. Next, we need to download the ANET Factory Firmware hex file for the A8 by following the link in the description. The file is currently hosted on Dropbox, so you may be prompted to sign in or create an account. You can just close that prompt. Then point to Download, click that, and then click Direct Download. This only takes a minute. The default destination for it is your Downloads folder, and you can leave it there. If your browser didn't automatically unzip the file, you'll need to unzip it yourself. Go ahead and do that now if you need to. Well, now it's time to get nerdy. We need to find the slash dev slash TTY location of the printer when it's connected to the computer via USB. But we're going to start by making sure that the printer is not connected to the Mac. Then open the terminal application. It lives in the Utilities folder, so the quickest way to get there is to click Go, then click Utilities. When the window opens, double-click the terminal application. Once it's open, type ls space dash one space slash dev slash tty dot asterisk and press return. You'll see a very short list. It may only have one or two items. Here we have slash dev slash tty dot bluetooth dash incoming dash port and that's it. Now connect the printer to your Mac with a USB cable and turn it on. In terminal we're going to issue that command again and a quick way to retype a previous command is to press the up arrow so do that and then press return. Now you'll see an additional item in the list. Here, it's slash dev slash tty dot usb serial dash 1470, but it may be different for you. Whatever that value is, make note of it, because we'll need it in the next step. Now it's time to get super nerdy. That's like regular nerdy, but with a cape. The Arduino IDE makes use of lots of other open source software, and it carries what it needs around with it. One of the things it's got is a utility called AVR Dude, and that's what we're going to use to send the firmware file to the printer's mainboard. Before we can use AVR Dude, we need to dig down into the guts of the Arduino IDE to get to where that utility is stored. There's a command in Terminal that lets you move from one folder or directory to another, and that's the CD command. 
It stands for change directory, and we're going to use that command to get us to where we need to be. We're going to follow this path, slash applications, slash Arduino dot app, slash contents, slash Java, slash hardware, slash tools, slash AVR, slash bin. Now that sounds like a lot to type, but Terminal has a handy feature called tab completion. You can type the first few letters of a directory or file, press the tab key, and Terminal can usually fill in the rest for you. It works like this. Type cd space slash capital A P P tab capital A R D tab capital C tab capital J tab H tab T tab A tab bin and press return. Now let's make sure that we landed in the right place. Type PWD and press return. That stands for present working directory, and if all went well, it should tell you that you're in slash applications, slash arduino.app, slash contents, slash java, slash hardware, slash tools, slash avr, slash bin. If you're not there, you got to find your way there before you can proceed. Okay, now take a deep breath because we're going to use the avr dude utility, and there's going to be a lot more actual typing. We'll start with a dot, a slash, and the name of the command like so. Now that's a good start, but we need to tell AVR Dude what we want it to do. And AVR Dude has a lot of options. So continuing on, type a space dash C space Arduino. This tells AVR Dude what programmer type we're using, in this case, Arduino. Next, we tell AVR Dude what kind of processor it's going to be talking to. The ANET board uses a 1284 microcontroller, so we'll specify that. Type a space dash P space and M. 1284p. Now we need to specify the port that the printer is connected to. That's the piece of information that we gathered just a moment ago. So type a space, dash uppercase p, a space, and then the port. In my case, it's slash dev, slash tty, dot usb serial, dash 1470. Next, we need to specify the speed or bit rate that AVR dude should use when sending data. Type a space, dash B and space and 57600. We're getting close, just a few more things to specify. So AVR dude needs to know what kind of memory operation we want it to perform. Type a space, dash uppercase U and a space. We're working with the microcontroller's flash memory, so type flash and a colon. And we want it to perform a write operation, so type W and colon. We need to tell AVR dude what we want it to write, so we're going to have to give it the path to the firmware that we downloaded, and that path needs to be wrapped in quotes. So type a quote, and then we're going to save ourselves a little bit of typing. Open your downloads folder, and get into the firmware folder that you downloaded. Find that firmware hex file, and drag it over to the terminal window, and let go. Terminal will help you out by typing the full path to that file. Unfortunately, it's a little extra helpful and it puts a space at the end and we don't need that. So delete that space and then close the quote. Okay, last piece of the command, I promise. There's a configuration file one directory up and over from where we are now and we'll need to specify that as well. So type a space dash capital C space dot dot slash etc slash avr dude dot conf c-o-n-f. Now that completes the command, so take another deep breath and press return. As soon as you do, AVR Dude Utility should begin transferring the firmware file to the printer. You'll see the progress displayed in the terminal window. Now once the firmware transfer is complete, the printer will reboot, and you'll see the usual ANET information shown on the LCD. And that's it! You can quit the terminal application and close any finder windows that you opened during the course of the project. And with that, you're back to having a working printer. And that's the end of the video. If you liked this episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. But either way, please leave your thoughts down in the comments. If you like the content I'm producing, please consider supporting the channel with a one-time micropayment. You could buy me a coffee or leave a little something down in the PayPal tip jar. Links for both of those are down in the description. Well, now that my printer's operational again, I'm going to go print something cool. You do the same, and I'll see you next time.